Today I'm gonna show you how to make an oscilloscope by using LED matrix without using any microcontroller. However, nowadays you can buy them for very low price and more features. But my circuit could be an educational project. This is my circuit. This circuit consists of 4 pieces of 8x8 8 8 LED matrix. So it has 256 LEDs. The working concept of this circuit is very simple. Any oscilloscope has two axes, x-axis and y-axis. The x-axis represent time and y-axis represent the voltage of the signal in that given time. The oscilloscope takes a lot of samples every second. This is why the signal appears to the human eyes as a continuous signal. For x-axis I used IC4017 and for y-axis I used ICLM3914. Each IC can drive in 10 channels, but since we have 16 channels for X-axis and 16 channels for Y-axis, so we have to cascade in 2 ICs for each channel. We also need a triple 5 IC as an oscillator, because 4017 IC needs a clock input. In a previous video, I showed you how to cascade in 2 4017 ICs by using 2 transistors to making an LED chaser with 17 channels. I used the same circuit here for the X-axis, and for Y-axis I cascade two LM3914 ICs. In this circuit you don't need any protection resistors for the LEDs, because the IC LM3914 has constant current LED driver. I converted this circuit to PCB and ordered it from PCBWay.com. After about 2 months, I received my package. Then I soldered the components on the PCB. Using a red transparent sheet on the display make it more clear and visible. I connected a sine wave with a frequency of 100 Hz to this scope. Here we have 3 knobs. The first one is a sweep or time base for X axis. You have to turn this knob to select in the proper time base. The second one is amplitude to decrease in the amplitude of the input signal. And the last one is offset voltage to move in the signal up and down. I used this op amp and this optocoupler because I had a problem with cascading these two ICs together. Because the last output of the first IC stay on when the output of the second IC switched on. So I solved this problem by disconnecting the last channel when the second IC start to working. See what happen if I don't use the optocoupler and bypass it. As you can see here, the last output of the first IC stay on when the output of the second IC switched on. By the way, you have to code in the pins of the LD matrix display by some solder, because they are very thin and cannot touch in the contact inside the female header. As you can see here, if I use it without coding the pins by some solder, some LEDs in the display does not work in. As I said before, the 4017 IC needs a clack pulse to run in the LEDs from left to right. But how much should be the frequency of the clack pulse? I removed the 555 IC which is a clack pulse generator and I connect the second channel of the function generator instead. I set the frequency of the input signal to 100 Hz. Then I start to increase in the second channel frequency, which is the x-axis sweep. As you can see, when the sweep frequency is 8 times more than the input signal, the signal on the display become clear. The same thing happen at 16 times. That is very interesting. And if you wondering why 8 times and why 16 times, because the x-axis has 16 LEDs and each display has 8 LEDs. The maximum input frequency for this oscilloscope could be less than 10 kHz. That's very low, but as I said before, this is just an educational project. 
You can order this PCB from PCBWay.com. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.